We welcome to another session of the ATU Library Tutorial Series. And in this tutorial, we are still on the project work formatting. We have a tutorial on how we can use Microsoft Word to automatically generate table of contents. We also have a tutorial on how we can use Microsoft Word to automatically generate a list of tables. In this tutorial, we are also going to cover how we can use Microsoft Word to automatically generate list of figures. And so we quickly show our web file. And as we have over here, we have some figures that has already been captured in our Microsoft Word. And we use Microsoft Excel to prepare these figures. And so before you generate your list of figures, you have to give your figure a label. You have to give your figure a label. So Let's use these as some examples. So let's say we don't have this over right here. Let me read what I have. So let's see our first figure. We want to label it as the form tags that are too boring. Uh, we have respondents who are performing tasks that are too boring. And so in order to label this particular figure, we still have to go to references. We have to use the references tab and you move to insert caption. And it's on table, you have to change to figure. We have figure one and you type what your actual figure depicts. So we have perform tags that are too boring. That is our figure one. As usual, we format our text, we go to the home tab. So Times New Roman, font size, let's say 12. Bold it and we have our figure one there. Then we move on to our next figure. And we are saying we are going to label this particular figure as receiving assignments without the resources to complete them. So you go to references, insert caption, we have figure two, and we have receiving assignments. that the resources to complete them. And so we have our figure two over here, we format our text, 12, change it, we build it. So you do your formatting based on the formatting guidelines given to you. If it's supposed to remain italicized, you maintain it like that. If you are supposed to give it a font size of 10, you do it like that. So this can be changed anytime the formatting of the particular or the formatting of the text. We we'll move on to our third figure and we are going to name this figure as doing things that should be done differently. So we go to references, insert caption automatically it's telling us that we are come to label our third figure. And so we have doing things that should be done differently. And that is our third figure. Of times new roman then let's move on to our last figure references insert caption we are going to name our last figure as receiving too much pressure from too many people it's an okay 
we change the font style that is formatting our text times new roman 12 font size bolded and we have our figures labeled nicely and so we can have a blank sheet that we want to populate or generate our list of figures so we can type so you can insert a blank sheet you can type you can have our list of Our list of figures so you have our list of figures over here we justify that put it then we go to references we click on insert table of figures caption label figure we click on OK, and we have our list of figures populated over here or generated over here. We can highlight everything, go back to home, and format what we have over here. Font type, Times New Roman. Size 12, line spacing, we can say 2.0. We can decide not to build it, and we have our list of figures. So... We have more formatting guidelines on project work that we will be doing to two rounds on. And this is what we have now for a list of figures. We thank you once again for watching A3 Library Tutorial Series. And always remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at A3 Library for more tutorials.